Did Pito B. Asanambra, Governor, order deportation of Northern Australia states? Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The Labour Party presidential candidate for the 2023 election, Peter Gregory Obi, is in the eye of the storm with several allegations of bigotry, hatred and maltreatment of Northerners leveled against him. He was said to have committed all this while he held sway as the governor of Anambra State. In a widely calculated, circulated article titled The Insolence of Pito B Against the North and Northerners, Part 1, A Personal Experience or a Community Travels and the Hand of a Tribal Bigot, the writer A.G. Mahmoud claimed that it would be under the deportation of Northerners of different religions to their respective state. Mahmoud wrote, It should also be noted that Pito B equally deported people of Northern extraction to Kaduna during his tenure as governor of Anambra State. It does not matter whether you are Christian of Middle Belt origin, once we're in Northern as far as P2B was concerned, you are simply unfit to stay anywhere in Anambra State in his days as governor. Verification. In its attempt to confirm the validity of the deportation claims, PRO Nigeria conducted a fact check on deportation that took place during the period when OB was the governor of Anambra State. PR findings indicated that the Anambra state government ordered the arrest of beggars in the state and the repatriation to the respective states, mostly in the south. The findings showed that Obi government actually arrested beggars on the streets of Oka Anusha and swiftly repatriated them to the homestead of Eboni and Akwaibon. PR Nigeria could not trace any credible media reports during the tenure of Obi as governor of Anambra where northerners were repatriated or deported to any part of the north. A report in the Leadership and Champion newspapers on December 4th and 5th, 2011, merely stated that Anambra State government issued a warning to all street beggars, especially children used by parents, to beg for arms, to vacate the streets, or to be arrested. 29 of such women who displayed their children as strategy for getting arms were arrested in Oka and Onicha and repatriated to their home state, Eboni, and Akwaibom State. The then Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Dr. Ego Cordelia Uzoezie, decried the attitude of some parents who used their children to beg for arms and warned that any beggar seen in the state would be arrested and deported by law enforcement agents. Conclusion The Anambra State Government enacted a policy that did not favor beggars in general, as in the case with even some northern states who have done the same. It is therefore not an identity profiler. Well, according to PR, they said they don't go verify this news, that um, this is not even a matter of uh, North and South, that in fact, Northern um, Southern people, in fact, nice Southern people and tell them, oh yeah, everybody go to your state. When he found out that um, parents make use of these children to beg for arms and therefore constituting, you know, uh, some things that were unwanted in the state. Obedient of teachers from neighboring Imo, Enugu, Eboi, Beavers, Akwaibom, Cross River, over and state of origin then, and subsequently lead them off from Anambra Piro. Please, people should not forget his crucial behavior of this Yahoo Yahoo presidential failure contestant. There is nothing to this issue of laying of teachers. It happened in almost all his South Eastern then, so there was some kind of balance. Oh, if it, there was, if it happened in other places, that means everybody wants to make their people go as with that. You're right, bro. Said in his time, children that are tough Anambra, not loading of loading Anambra State, just passing by must pay 100,000 for each trailer, including manhandled. I am still a living witness, I cannot support such a wicked human being. Hmm. All right, that is what we need as a country. I hope it does seem if you imagine the president of Nigeria, all those foreigners from our neighboring countries like Chad, Niger, Benin, Mali. And the rest that comes into the country to cause mayhem and to discomfort Nigerians should be driven away so that we can have a peaceful coexistence. This verification is a lie that stands little check. We know that it is the Northerners that mainly use the children to beg for arms. 
So if such people were not sent to the state, is it to a boy? And not that in a boy? You know, it is not meant that you, the children, to beg and that are supposed to be in school to beg for arms. Let's assume we send them packing, which has not been verified. Is it not right? Because an able bodied man or woman be using the gift. Okay, but because how can an able bodied man or woman be giving, be using the gift that God gave them to beg for arms when they can engage in something meaningful? Since you like it, you can take your kids to an umbrella and be begging for arms on the street. <laughs> Some people now violence, they use Kumsha. Well, if you ask me onto this matter, PR said I don't verify this news, but we don't know yet. Like I said earlier before in other news, I said that more brutal attacks are going to be coming. The ones that are true, the ones that are not, the ones that will test people's faith in their candidates. So, dear supporters of politicians, please brace up. The worst is yet to come. Okay. Forget that talk. Currently, APC in Lagos and Duokiti have been deporting northerners. In Lagos, the all progressive Congress is crushing northern motorcycles. They thought that only Chahed Bay should be converted as home for the homeless, whether they are Igbos, your house, or your bar. Why crimes became unimaginable? The presence of a fall are from the pit of hell. He should simply accept he did all those inhuman and give reasons for doing that. Very simple. Okay. The real and Julie Northern are still in Anambra doing their legitimate business soon. If you send foreign machinery to wreak havoc in my state, if I'm the governor, I will give, send it back to the sender. <laughs> All right. There is nothing bad in deportation. Go back to your northern state. Chase out killers had men of family land. Start farming. Fulani cannot take up a land and Fulani government tells you northern outside that you can live anywhere in the country as constitution says. Written by military junta. Fulani wanted to claim our land and other northern indigenous people. Let us do what is right. Nigeria is not for a foreign ethnic but belongs to indigenous Nigerians. If Peter B did that, people are even coming out to speak for him. <laughs> he did it for safety. When the Thanos were killing the Igbos in the north, the Igbos too threatened to retaliate. So telling them to go back to their state is temporary for tension to calm down because he cannot be everywhere to protect them as at that time. If really he asked them to go back to the state. Well, this thing never blew Richard P to be here because I know saying will come as I can't talk. That's what I know him for. Very soon he will address all the situation. But still then, I repeat, the northern people, I mean I say the northern people, no, supporters of uh, whoever you're supporting, whatever presidential candidate, more very, you know, annoying, um, this thing will be said about your candidate. Just brace up. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news receipt. Thank you for turning to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.